day viewers how the devil are you today i'm going to try and put this thing to use in separating some aluminium from some steel i've got an old motor so we'll see how we go I've made a few uh, improvements and modifications to the scrapping furnace. As you can see, I've thrown in some bricks there to partially line it. That's to help reflect the heat. The bricks, I hope, will capture the heat and reflect it back into the material I'm trying to melt. And also uh, to try and make the steel drum last a bit longer. It's pretty easy to burn the arse out of these things with the blowtorch from Hellflame. Uh, trained on them so I'd like to get a few more uh, runs out of this thing before it falls apart I don't know how long they'll last but I know it'll last, last a lot longer with the bricks and without the other thing I've done is turn the burner back up vertically I've done that re really for reasons of packaging more than anything else uh, and it's a bit easier to light in the uh, vertical position also it allows me to just have a straight shot into the blower as you can see there and that allows me to have more air than with the hose which with any length of anything like that always reduces airflow. So that's about the uh, the best I'm going to get out of it and the maximum heat. So I've got an old two-stroke engine there I'm going to have a go at. It's really what this is about in that it's separating the aluminium from the steel. The engine is a two-stroke. It's made by Victor in Australia. My Australian viewer or one of them I think I've got would probably be familiar with the brand as you can see the uh, crankcase and the flywheel is all aluminium and the barrel is steel now because that was thrown into a container and it got wet and I wasn't aware of as you can see all the steel is rusted up I would like to get some bits out of it like the ignition but the nut on the top is also frozen rusted they're very prone to do that so that one's just basically a write-off what I want to do now is separate the steel from the aluminium and that's kind of the purpose of this burner. So that's going to be the first thing that I have a go at and then I might try melting some of the metal out of uh, my pots that I've, I've melted already and try and put that into something that uh, I can make a, a man size ingot out of. Okay, so we've got the burner running. It's uh, just coming up on its preheat there. I'll give it a few minutes, uh, get the, uh, the furnace bricks a bit hot, get a bit of the heat into the thermal mass of those, get the uh, burner right on song, then I'll come back, throw the motor in and see how we go from there. I've only got the level of the oil supply about a foot above the inlet to the burner and it's quite happily taking everything a, uh, a 3 8 line can give it. The oil I'm using is veg oil and it's quite thin but it's uh, definitely going to get through it at this rate. Probably not quite 300 kilowatt output but I reckon it's a good 250. I'll keep an eye on the oil consumption and see what it works out at. Already you can probably see the bricks in the air are getting mighty warm and we haven't even been going five minutes minutes yet. As you can see it's warming up quite nicely. Here's a nice gratuitous burner pawn shot for you of glowing red bricks. Like I say five minutes not even it's taken to get to that. You gotta love these things really. in a few uh, pieces that I've melted before that have come out and uh, we'll just use that as a bit of a warm-up to test the temperature of my little oven. Oh good lord, it's melting already. Quicker than I thought.
it actually seems quite slow. Thought it would have been done by now. I think I'm going to have to lift that oil supply. We're just not getting enough power. that have helped it along that's what I'm talking about and there goes the aluminium the first bit just about to run out just got to have these things dialed up properly that's all now we're cooking with oil I'll back it down a bit throw that motor in and see how we go it already and I've backed it back down again because we're still getting spraying aluminium. I've backed the air down as well. That might give me a little bit more intensity of heat even though it's still a fairly low setting on the fuel. It's got up to temperature and it's going pretty quick now as you can see. Looks like I have got a bit of a leakage at the bottom. Certainly melting the aluminium, just not going where I want it. Such is life. Insulation. 
chicken and there you go. You can melt pretty much anything. Well, I've got another pot of aluminium here, so I'll scrape out the remnants of the motor and see how I go with that. few more things I was gonna melt but frankly I can't take it I'm just dying here I'm gonna have to get a bigger yard or something so I can get further away from these things it, the heat is just incredible so hopefully uh, you enjoyed that found it a bit amusing and interesting as well uh, it works perfectly for what I want for re separating aluminium and steel if you enjoyed it Please uh, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, I'll be doing more videos with this and uh, please by all means share it round, uh, it's good to know that lots of people are seeing this and to uh, see new viewers coming on board. Thanks a lot for watching.